to say he gave me some vitamins vitamins you've been barfing for two weeks and he gives you vitamins he said I have this condition what condition it's called morning sickness a baby you're gonna have a baby <laughs> William! Jason! Peter! Maximilian! <laughs> no, 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 no way, no, out of the question, no. Police. Problem, officer. You got a loose muffler hanging off your hiney, constituting a hazard. Got your license handy? Not on me. Is this a registered vehicle? Yes, sir. It belongs to my grandfather. What's your name? Sonny Youngfellow. Sir, I got my license. It's at home in my wallet. I'll bring it in to you. Well, why don't you just climb down out of there, Jamal? Okay, Geronimo. You hold it right there, I'll blow your feathers all over Arizona. You pick. No, no, I ever win anything. You pick. Oh, come on, come on. One of you, let's go. All right, who's the lucky couple? Ah, we win. We did? Yep. Great. What's the prize? And all expenses paid, round trip for two to Kingston, Arizona. <laughs> Not the Kingston, Arizona. Plane tickets, mail expenses, fugitive warrant for one sonny young fellow. All the extradition papers are in order. All you've got to do is pick them up and bring them in. Mandy, you love the desert heat. They're snakes. 
clean air. Pestilence. Tarantulas. Prickly heat. Send me a picture postcard. The same to you, fella. <laughs> Definitely the vacation spa of the Southwest. See, if you'd have listened to me, would have had the two door with the air conditioner. Didn't have a radio. Plane ride wasn't bad enough. I had to drive 70 miles in this sweaty heat listening to good old boys singing Home on the Range. What do you expect out here, Montevani? Beats five guys sharing a sinus. Why don't you get us a couple of cold drinks? Can you fix this thing? Looks bad. How bad? Well, I don't know. Gotta let her cool down first. Cracked hoses for sure. Vapor lock. Probably needs a new thermostat. Maybe even a manifold. How long? How long you got? An hour? No way. Take her that long just to calm down. You ever bust the flagstaff from here? Yeah. Where's the police station? Across the street. Thanks. Hey, you want me to fix this thing? You may not need a new manifold. It's a rental. Why don't you give him a call? Morning. Morning. You, uh, Brighton? Yeah, Jocko Brighton, chief of police. You two must be, uh... Shansky and Del, uh, it's Italian. Yeah, yeah, very good. You got our prisoner? Geronimo? Yeah, I got him. You got the paperwork? Yeah, right. There. What have you been doing? Drooling on him? Can we dispense with the one line as Jocko? We're on a schedule. Sergeant, Sergeant, just keep your pants on. I mean, I got to look through these things. Okay. You seem to be all right. Okay, General. Time to saddle up. a couple of signatures. Feisty, you gotta keep going. Hey, hey, you may be tough, but I'm tougher. You so much as lay a hand on that kid again, you'll find it's just how much tougher. Shans, let's go. Come on, we gotta bust the catch. Come on, Sonny, get up, Gory. Put your hands behind your back. Is this hot here? How long have you lived here? Yeah, I looked over your sheet. There's one thing I don't understand. You were a model prisoner. 
There's only three months to go on a simple marijuana possession charge. All of a sudden, you up and escape. Why? Well, suit yourself. All right, I'll go see about the bus tickets. Okay. Tell me what? Nothing. When you get in a truck and go home, I'll work it out. How? Work what out? He, he got into trouble in prison. Lynn! And they beat him real bad. Who beat him? The other prisoners. That's why he escaped. And if you take him back there now, you're going to be taking him back to be murdered. arrest before the marijuana charge? No. First offenders usually don't get sent away in the first bust. I was doing a little selling, too. I was in college. I had no money. I had to take a court-appointed lawyer. And he told you he can get you a deal, right? What? A deuce with a chance of parole after six months? Yeah. So you had it made. Why'd you run? Hey, look, they tried to rape him. He fought. They said they were going to kill me. What for? Telephone. Tom, we got a bus coming in five minutes, and you got to look in your eyes. I have come to know and dread. I know, I know. Come on, come on. It'll only take a minute. Don't do it. Do what? Whatever it is you're going to do. Yeah, you've heard it before. A kid goes in on a possession rap. The animals are all over him. He won't give in, so they threaten him. There's a fight. He lands in the prison hospital where some gorilla with a bedpan tells him if he doesn't shape up, they'll kill him. Well, he's been here for almost two years. He's clean as a whistle, a model citizen. Got a wife, a kid in the oven, the whole thing. Counselor, need I remind you that the laws have changed? These days, you walk down the street smoking a joint, they give you a moving violation. Well, what I want is for you to arrange a change of facility, any other place than where he was. Can you do that? And then we'll see about the rest of it. Toots, I wouldn't be asking if it wasn't important. I don't have a couple of hours. There's a bus due in two minutes. We got a flight out of uh, Flagstaff in 90 minutes. Stall. I can't stall. Look, Magman will have my bagels in a sling. Look, OK, I'll call you back in two, three hours, all right? Thanks. Oh, listen, Shirley. Uh, up to now, it's been good, clean fun between us, right? You know, a few laughs, a little slap and tickle, your uh, basic meaningless relationship, but uh, this changes it. You want me to want? <laughs> You're a rare breed, lovey. Yeah, look, I gotta go. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll bring you back something from the gift shop. I don't know, a rubber snake, how's that? Yeah, bye. Come on, let's go. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a policeman, and I have, uh, yeah, just, so oh, one minute, wait there. Just, um, let me just get here. I'm real sorry about this, Sonny. Real sorry. You just wait right there, right? Just one minute. Dell? Mm. Dominic, come on, the bus is here. I can. What's the matter? I got an attack. Look, the only thing that's attacking you is your bleeding heart. Now, come on. No, I mean it. That meal we had on the plane, it's killing me. Well, hurry it up, will you? There's not another bus out of here till tomorrow.
bus. I don't suppose I'm telling you anything that you don't already know. But the bus is gone, and the car is dead, and we are stuck here for the next 24 hours. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Shantz. So what are we supposed to do now? I know, I picked a terrible time to be at one with nature. Well, look, uh, we're men of the world, right? What do men of the world do when they're in a similar position? We take rooms. Uh, is there a hotel around here? It's a motel right there. Okay, uh, we'll take a room. Look, uh, I can't promise you anything, but I uh, called a lawyer friend of mine, and she's looking into the possibility of petitioning a judge for a change of facility. So Sonny won't have to go back to prison? Well, not that one anyway. Maybe. Why don't you go home, and I'll, uh, I'll give you a call when I've called her again. Thanks. Save it till we hear. Hey, Sonny. I'll be okay going now. Who's the old man? My grandfather. Look, the heat's killing me. Let's go get a room. I don't believe it. The Christians had better rooms than this. Not to mention the lions. Turn on the air conditioner, will you? What air conditioner? Grab a chair, Sonny. You better call Mackerman. Right. You hungry? I could eat. What about you? Hungry? Huh? Look, Sonny, everything's gonna be all right. So you called a lawyer. What good is that gonna do me? I had a lawyer the last time. Now, you listen to me. That was three years ago. The laws have changed since then. Surely, that was the lawyer I just called. Now, she's on it right now. She'll contact the DA, explain the situation, and if we can get the judge away from his lunch for just about an hour, maybe we got a shot. If, maybe. Look, I appreciate you guys going out on the limb for me, but it's no good. As far as they're concerned, I'm nobody. And they're gonna send me back to that place. Hey, are you all right? Stand up. I'm gonna be sick. You're gonna be sick. Shans? He's gonna be sick. Go in here. You think we should leave him uncuffed like that? He's weak as a kitten. You know, we really should get him back to Jocko if we're gonna lay over. Yeah, we should, but we won't. Did you see the bruises on his face? Jocko's have been using him for target practice. You know, this whole trip is turning into a festival of delights. Well, what do you want me to do? Turn him over and forget it? You don't even know if he's telling you the truth. Is it gonna hurt to hang around a day and find out? You know, you're a mark. They see you coming a mile away. Here he comes, folks, defender of the downtrodden, friend of stray underdogs. My lord, I could probably sell you the Brooklyn Bridge. How much? Go get the food, will you? Paul McAvin. Lock the door. Car broke down and we uh, we missed the bus. Hey, any trouble with the prisoner? No, no, he's a pussycat. Where you staying? Uh, Joyce's Motel. Hey, go easy on expenses. <laughs> You're a laugh riot, Lieutenant. Hey, no goofing around. I want you on the first bus out of there. Yeah, well, we'll do our best, but it's kind of hard to turn you back on paradise. Hey, Dom, you sure everything is okay? Why shouldn't it be? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Man, how much do I owe you for that? At 655. 655. Thank you. Oh, uh, let me have a receipt, will you? What? A receipt. That's a little piece of paper with the amount on it, signed by you. What for? Tax purposes. Oh, pretty slick. Yep, that's me. Well, well, well. Here you go. Slick. Oh. Sergeant, I thought you boys were showing by now. Yeah, well, we missed the bus. How do you expect to catch all those uh, big city criminals if you uh, can't even catch a little old bus? <laughs> That's what I ask myself sometimes. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll bet you do. Here. Thanks. You feeling any better? Yeah, I guess so. <coughs> you think it'll work? You mean with a lawyer? Yeah. Well, it could. Depends on if she gets the right judge. And if she can't. Ah, look, don't worry about it. Most of them are nice guys. I think you got a shot. Like 50-50? Sure. Can I have some water? Let me just... Let me... Don't shoot, I give up. What the hell happened to you? You're the brain, you figure it out. Just get these things off me. Get them off me. You got your gun? Yes. Oh, man, we're in trouble, partner. What do you mean, we, white man? We gotta go find them. Okay, let's get some horses and ride out to the countryside. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Listen, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for this to happen. Ah, forget it. The kid was terrified. I'm afraid I wasn't very much help. Besides, I never should have left him uncuffed. What are we gonna tell Macavan? Lost him? What do you mean you lost him? He got the drop on Shonsky, took his gun and split. Where were you? I was out getting food. Did he have cuffs on him? Never ask a question you know the answer to. And that business about missing the bus. Mia culpa. Don't give me that Italian garbage! I want to tell you something. You come back up to a mirror and look over your shoulder and wave goodbye to your keister if you don't get him back. Now you find him, you get him on that plane, and you bring him back here, you don't come back! Was he mad? There's a mosquito bite. I love it. One skinny brave and you couldn't even hang on to him. And we're gonna need your help getting him back. Okay. Now we'll get him back for you. We really appreciate it. Earl, I want you to get on the phone and round up some of the boys. I want you to uh, get a hold of Harley and tell him we're going to need those hounds of his. I want roadblocks on 16, 11, and uh, Sutter Road behind the Campbell Ranch. <laughs> we're going to go with you. You're going nowhere. I mean, you can hang around here if you want. Or you can go back to your room. Or you can go back home for all I care. But you ain't going on my manhunt. No, sir. Manhunt. Sounds like a lynching party. Look, I can talk him into giving himself up. You sent out a bunch of locals beating the bushes. Somebody's gonna get hurt, right? Now, don't worry about that. I mean, we know how to handle these types out here. What gets you throbbing about this kid? The fact that he's married to a white girl? Now, you look! I don't come to your town telling you how to run your store. Don't you tell me how to run mine. One way or the other. A couple hours tops, huh? But uh, he is armed. And to be considered dangerous. And if he should zig when he's supposed to zag, well, uh, that would be too bad, wouldn't it? <laughs>
Yeah, operator, you got a taxi service operating here. Who? Daddy. Hello again. Where's 24 hour taxi service? That's your beck and call. Where to? Sonny Young fellas, you know him? The engine guy they're out hunting for, sure. He's a good mechanic. You know where he lives? Mm-hmm. But it's a ways. Oh, and how much is a ways? Oh, about 15 bucks. You got it. In advance. Great show, great. Of course I appreciate it. I'm, I'm just tired, that's all. No, I don't know what time the flight is. I'll, um, I'll call you when I know. Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. Listen, I'll, I'll tell you about it when I see you, all right? All right, Cheryl. I mean it, thanks.
did she say? Oh, she said she wanted me. Who could blame her? What about Sonny? She found the DA. They pulled his file. The kid was telling the truth. The yacht said only two months to go. Did you may do anything? They found Judge Pulikovsky in his steam room somewhere. <laughs> Surely must have loved that. Yeah. Anyway, the judge said that a change of facility would be easy. They may even be able to drop the original charge the time already served. So, now all we gotta do is deliver this yo-yo one piece. Yeah, the chances for which are getting slimmer by the nanosecond. As I live and breathe. Ask and ye shall receive. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Come on in. Take him home. How? He's in our custody, isn't he? Was. Look, this kid's escape is the biggest thing to hit this town since the great mongoose stampede of 68. You think Jocko Brighton's gonna be a nice guy and let him go? No. Okay, we got your escaped felon. We got your local constabulary out in force. We got your car in the intensive care unit across the street. And we got a bus that comes here in a little less than uh, eight and a half hours. You know what we got? Nothing's what we got. You mean if I turn myself in right now, you guys couldn't take me back? No, you have to get your situation cleared up here first. If I gotta go back to jail, better here than there. Dummy, I just got through explaining it to you. We got you all squared away. You won't have to go back to that prison. Things happen. There's only one answer. Come on in. Where's your uh, partner? Communing with nature. Did you find Sonny? Not yet. We will. You uh, had any visitors lately? Yeah, as a matter of fact, the uh, grandfather was here just a little while ago. Is that a fact? He stopped by your office to see if you found Sonny. Uh, no one was there, so he came on over here. I think you're lying to me. Well, howdy, Chief. How goes the great manhunt? He knows the old man was here. Oh? Huh? I don't think we have a choice. We better tell him. Yeah, what's he done for us lately? You spill it, mister, or I'll throw you both in a slammer. He told us where the boy is. He uh, wanted us to go get him. I told him I couldn't do that. That uh, was out of our hands. Yeah, that may be the first smart thing you've done today. Where is he? If I tell you, do I have your word you'll go easy on him? <clears throat> you may think we're just a bunch of thigh slappers out here, but we know the law, too. I'll take every reasonable precaution to see that nobody gets hurt. Okay. There's an abandoned mine shaft out in the hills somewhere, about 15 miles south of here. The old diamond head shaft? The old diamond hat, yeah. Boy, is he gonna be mad when he finds out you told a fib? Come on, let's go. We don't have a lot of time. Where? Make a run for it. You're a mechanic? You know how to fix the busted radiator? Sure. Oh, my God, that's kidnapping, that's breaking and entering. When this hits the fan, we are finito. We'll drive off that bridge when we get to it. It's not the right hose, but it should hold. Okay, let's go. Sonny, get in. Hey, I don't know about this. Me neither. Well, the floor is open to viable alternatives. Get in. What about my wife, my grandfather? Sonny, you have my word. If you're not back here in one week, as a free man, we'll send for the entire family. Promise.
What if they catch us? You don't worry about that. Just worry you might suffocate first. I'm gonna wring that turkey's neck. The gun. The crumb was wearing his piece. They had him there the whole time. Let's go! Yeah, we gotta get home by noon. But if we're ever by this way again, why, we'll be sure to stop in. Well, we better be hitting the road. Well, you fellas drive careful now, you hear? Yep. I'll leave it there, Chief. Same to you. Supposed to know. I'm not a native. Slow down, will ya? How long before they figure it out and come after us? You want me to call ahead to the state police? They can intercept. No. This one's mine. All mine. Oh, she's overheating. I don't think this bag's gonna make it. I don't believe it. Come on, let's get out and push her over the state line. Line over there, let's push it across. There you go. Take the keys. All right, Geronimo. Out of there. Nice try, hot dog. Why don't you put that gun away, Jocko? It might go off. Yeah, it just might at that. Let him go, Jocko. You're across the state line. You can't touch us here. Did you ever hear a hot pursuit? Were you chasing us? You know, state lines don't mean bump squat when you're in hot pursuit. Wait a minute. Let me, let me, let me tell you about hot pursuit. The second you uh, crossed your township line, you were out of your jurisdiction. And you weren't in hot pursuit then. In point of hard fact, you don't have a leg to stand on. Am I right, Chance? Sounds right to me. Don't press me, fellas. It's been a hard night. Now, wait a minute. We're in the state of California. This is our fugitive. We've got the papers to prove it. You can't touch us here, Jocko. So why don't you take your men and go on home? It's been great fun, but just one of those things. You think you're one smart Hingleberry, don't you? Well, no, I'm going to tell you something. I could take you all back, and it'd be your word against mine. But I don't need to do that. All I got to do is pick up the phone, and I got a legitimate fugitive warrant out on Geronimo here. And when your state's through with him, I get him back. And then I pick up the phone again. I call your department, and I tell them what you two did. And you're finished in law enforcement for good. Oh, you wouldn't do that, would you? You watch me. What about the law enforcement fraternity? All your fellow officers and things you like that? Stop it! All right, I, uh, I see we uh, can't work it out on a reasonable basis, so 
It'll have to be quid pro quo. That's Latin, Jocko. Meaning, you don't blow the whistle on us, we won't blow the whistle on you. Whistle? What are you talking about? I'm talking about police brutality. You beat up the prisoner. He's got the bruises to prove it. I'm talking about the fact that you formed an illegal posse. You didn't deputize one man. And only the county sheriff has that authority. I'm talking about illegal roadblocks. And I'm talking finally about an illegal search and seizure. That's a crock. Do you have a search warrant for this car? This car that you forced me to hand over the keys to at gunpoint in my home state? You can listen up, Hotshot. He's studying to be a lawyer and everything. Now, he may not be the best cop in the world, but he knows the law. Thank you. Now, what we've got is the following. I bent a few rules, you bent a few rules. You can get me in the hot water, we'd both boil. Neither one of us would be able to get to be elected dog catcher. We'd both go on welfare and be a burden to our respective states. Capiche? So, you scratch ours, we'll scratch yours, uh, your basic quid pro quo, and then... Uh... Class dismissed. Oh, uh, Jacko. Uh, can I use your car radio to get some help? We seem to have broken down here. Have a nice walk home. You heard the man. Don't switch that remote. Coming up next, Jan Michael Vincent stars as chopper pilot cellist Stringfellow Hawk in Airwolf, right here in TV Land.